Welcome back to Treasure Hunting with Jeeves, guys. And since it is warmed up to a nice, cozy, warm, like 12 degrees or so, <laughs> we decided let's go ahead and go out and go dumpster diving anyway because it's better than a negative 10 we had last night. So we're gonna go hit up all our favorite spots and hopefully find all kinds of cool stuff. Before we start the video though, we gotta put one comment from the last video up right here. Thank you so much for watching the video and thank everyone else too. If you wanna have your comment in the next video, make sure you leave one in this one. So without further ado, let's go jump in those dumpsters. All right, guys, so we're starting here at GameStop, and it looks like somebody already beat us here because there's ripped up stuff everywhere. Yeah, you see all this GameStop stuff? Somebody's already ripped open the bags over here. And it doesn't look like there's anything else in this dumpster, even though it's not there. Sometimes they throw in there. No other bags here. They took it off, though. Well, let's go to the next spot. All right, guys, now we are at Barnes & Noble, and we just checked here the other night and didn't see anything, so I'm not going to move too much stuff around because we kind of know what was here last. But... For any of those of you guys that are new here, these people only throw stuff away worth keeping that is in boxes. If it's in a bag, it's trash. It does not look like there's any boxes here. We moved this whole pile. This whole pile was over here the other day. We moved it all over there to check. So, doesn't look like there's nothing here either, but let's continue. Now we're back at our favorite GameStop, but it doesn't look like nothing's outside today. Boo. But there is a Nintendo Switch box that's empty for sure. That's all cardboard in here. Actually, what's over here? Let's see. Yep, somebody's already been here too. Look at that. Ripped apart. But I don't know if this is GameStop or not. Yeah, these are. Look at it. These are Destiny 2 cards. Huh. Look at that. That's a whole pack of 10 packs of playing cards. All brand new. Let's see what else we can see in this sucker. Oh, there's some more. At least three more. That might be another pack over here. Oh, look at this. These are actually brand new pins. Check that out. Definitely gonna take that and that. So, it looks like they've been chucking their stuff in here, which might be why we might not see anything in their actual dumpster anymore. What is this one? Another whole pack of these big pins. What does that say? Ivy Valentine? But I mean, there's at least five or six per pack. Oops, I almost missed the car. Let's keep going, this is fun. <laughs> and look at all the shelf brackets over there. Oh, this one looks like the best of the time. Nothing in there. We'll definitely take another pack of the playing cards, by the way. We'll go through it all when we get home in more detail. Might as well check this side, too. Looks like, oh, it looks like lighting over there. Broken shelves. Nothing else for two. And what is that all the way over there? That's just really far away. You can't really tell, but from that side, you'll be visible to the security over there. So we're not going to mess with it. We'll take what we got, call out a win, and let's head to the next spot. All right, guys, now we're at the King Away CVS. And look at that. That is solid ice. I really don't want to break an ankle back here. So. We're gonna kind of take a peek around. Looks like this one's empty. Holy crap, my feet are sliding everywhere. Let's go look in the big one. That's where usually where stuff is, if it's gonna be anywhere. Nice little cup. Whoa, there it is. Is that all candy? That is all candy. Holy crap, that one too. Can't reach it, but I'ma get it. You can get it. Is this one too? Okay, that's cardboard. But that's all perfectly good candy. That is a ridiculous amount of waste right there. Look at that. So I'll have to put the camera down and get that other one right there. But we have at least two full bags worth of candy. We'll do a recap when we get home. So I will see you then. All right, guys. Now we're walking up on a PetSmart. And man, that ice. I'm going to break an ankle. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Somebody broke something. That probably wasn't on purpose, though. Maybe it was. I don't know. What else do we got going on? There's a thing of bedding, but it's probably ripped. I don't have nothing to do with it. Uh, it looks like there's that's all ripped open, if you can't tell down there. It's like fish food that's destroyed. Basically, this one destroys everything, food-wise. But sometimes we come in here because they do throw out like pet accessories. Like we found a stuff cleaning litter box and wants dog collars and things like that. But for the most part, it's not worth checking. So let's go to the next spot. All right, guys, now we're at another five below. What the heck? I just heard something running in the woods. That scared me. But that one's completely empty. And this one, 
is nothing but trash. So junk and more ice. So I guess I'll head to the next spot. All right, guys, over here at Aldi, it looks like somebody had a little accident with the head there. But let's go see what we can do and not break an ankle in the process because it's so icy. Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Look up there. What is that? That is yogurt. That's unfortunately not something we can donate. Look at all this, turkey breast. Oh, it's broken. But, I mean, the bag's sealed. I'm not gonna take that and donate it somewhere. We'll see, the worst thing can happen is we gotta throw it away again. Who cares? A lot of these are broken, but, I mean, like you said, the thing inside is what's sealed, so that being broken doesn't really matter too much. Look at all that food, holy crap. You can donate so much and it's all frozen. Oops, turkey breast. I'll pick it up, don't worry. But, there's so much food in there. I'm gonna have to put the camera down and get this, because it's just a ridiculous amount. So I'll take what I got, and then we'll probably grab some more, and we'll head to the next spot. See you then. All right, guys, so the yogurt we kind of left in there, because it was dairy, and unfortunately the date on there was like three months ago, so figured it wouldn't be no good. But the dates on this lunch meat is actually March of this year, so most likely we're guessing these got chucked because the containers got broken. That's most likely my guess, since the meat itself is actually still wrapped up. It could still be perfectly good used. That doesn't really make sense, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's perfectly fine. It's just they had to throw it away because the container's broken. Plus, it's, what is it right now? 14 degrees out? About 14 degrees, so it's definitely frozen and good. So hopefully we can give this a good home. And I think, is that the last spot we're going to? Yes. Last spot, and let's go home and go through everything in detail. See you then. All right, guys, let's start going through this massive haul. So first, we're going to do CVS because it is a lot of candy, and then we're going to do the other spots. So let's go. We're going to go through every little thing for CVS. And let me tell you, everything we've checked so far, the dates on here, even though those dates usually don't matter, especially wrapped up food like this, just saying if you're going to donate. But these dates are actually February 2019. So this stuff is all good, even according to their fake dates. So first, the huge bag of Reese's and Kit Kats. I don't even see a weight on it. That's big, trust me. Look at my hand. That thing's bigger than my hand. I got big hands. We don't have, we have two of them. I guarantee all this candy is going to take up the entire table. Well, let's go through it anyway. We got quite a few of these snack things. And these are, again, February 2019. I'm going to check the date of, like, one of each thing we find. But one, two. Oh, no, those are regular M&Ms. This is, again, oh, it's the same thing. My bad. February 2019, once again. I think we have one more. So all those. Some, what are these? Hershey Kisses with almonds in them. And this is, this is March 2019. The February, I don't, like, I would think if it said February 2019, that would mean it's good through February. So I don't get why they'd be throwing it out right at the beginning of February. That doesn't really make sense to me, but, hey, they throw out a lot. We've been going there for a lot of years, and they waste a lot. Uh, Reese Cups, date on them is March 2019. We got a lot of Reese's. Food over Hershey's. Let's go through the Reese's. One, two. Oh, we missed one of the giant bags in the beginning. Another one of these. But these are actually Reese's Minis, and a date on these ones are again February this year. More Reese's Minis. Even a giant pack of red, white, and blue sour packs. These might be older. They might have been for 4th of July. Nope. February 14th, 2019. Ladies like to waste stuff. Uh, Hershey's Minis. Hershey's the Things with Almonds again. Ugh, these things are so, actually, I don't know, peanuts and pretzels and a Hershey bar. I just, I don't know. Chocolate and pretzels do go good together, but adding the nuts with it, I don't know how that combo would be. That'd be kind of weird. But again, more Hershey's as almonds. Another one of these things. By the way, this is all going to be, we'll take this all to a food bank and donate it, so a lot of stuff. This is why I always say to check the food dumpsters. Even if you, like, you yourself are like, I can't eat it. You're too, like, you know, upper class. Like, you can't have a dumpster, you can't donated even if you don't want it people can still use it a lot of people do, do not know this goes on if people like you said i think if the majority of people in this country knew that this kind of waste was going on in multiple stores across cities states there'd be something done but we do what we can to try to bring attention to it m ms more reese's more hershey's let's see no more reese's mini man more reese cups more of these things again? That's still, that seems so nasty. Uh, what is this one? Snickers, uh-oh, what's the date on this one? This one's freaking July of 2019, even more wasteful. All right, let's see here. Reese's, Reese's. 
Reese's. So many Reese's. More Reese's. There are more. There's more Reese's. Look at that. More Reese cups. Oh man, so much waste. So much waste. Nothing beats like right after Halloween though. If you haven't gone going back to like October on our channel and look back then, there was ridiculous candy hauls. Again, Reese's. After Easter too. Oh my gosh, after Easter last year, that was the craziest one I think all time. They filled up our entire trunk and backseat with just candy. More Reese cups. I mean, last year leading up to Halloween, that's when we were saving all the money for the Halloween cam the candy. <laughs> the candy for the Halloween stuff. Yeah, that's an OG fan. That's like before we kind of the storage in the videos and stuff kind of blew up. So, do you remember the bucket of candy? You got to comment OG down there. We know who the OG people are. More Reese's. Was it that long ago? I think so. That was like before October. The storage in the video really started to blow up in like the end of October, November. Mm -hmm. is when it really started to shoot up. I get it confused. More Reese's. Reese's, Reese's. Uh, what else we got? Blue Reese's. Look at this mountain of candy. So many people. Even though it's not the healthiest thing in the world, still, it's so a food. lot of food for people. I'm saying everyone deserves something sweet every now and then. Hershey's gold. More Hershey's kisses with almonds. Look at this. It's starting to cover my face in. Uh, this mi the mixed pack. Hershey kisses with almonds again. Gross. Hershey kisses with almonds. A lot of these, I mean, personally, <laughs> Long in the trash, but I, I know like other people's this. opinions are different. Ooh, Jolly Rancher. Some high you ones. I don't like them. Never mind. What's the date on these out of curiosity? March 2019. And two more packs of Hershey Kiss. Is that it? That is it, guys. I just want you to actually think about the waste, okay? This is one CVS dumpster. If you take into consideration that there are tens of thousands, I'm pretty sure, and that's not a fact, don't quote me on it, but there are probably tens of thousands of CVSs across the United States that all have this amount of stuff sitting in their dumpster on a regular basis. And yet we complain about people not having food around the country. This is why. This is why. If we stop throwing this stuff away over money and just start giving to people that need it, we could solve our own issues so easily. But anyway, that's just my little viewpoint. We'll scoot this stuff aside and let's go through the other stuff we got at GameStop. All right, guys. Now from Aldi, like I said earlier, all the yogurt we left behind because it was months old and I don't like messing with dairy that's past date. But the turkey, literally, like I said, in the car, I think they trashed them. The, the dates on here are March. There's no recalls that we see. A lot of people ask us about stuff being recalled. So I'll put the URL on the screen now so you can go and check. There is a URL where they update foods and things like that that are recalled so you can know. And another good way is if you are on Facebook, what is that group called? The dumpster diving group. Dumpster diving for newbies 2.0. Yes, that one. Go to that one and you will literally see people. They like, I don't know how they know so fast, but they put updates on there like instantly when something's recalled. I see stuff on there all the time that's about stuff being recalled. But again, always check the website, always do a Google search. You know, just do your research before you eat it or you give it to somebody else. We always do. But we didn't see anything about this. Like we said, they probably broke the case on delivery because almost all of them are cracked. But then again, everything inside is individually wrapped, so it's not going to hurt it at all. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things of this turkey, and each one is a pound. So seven pounds worth of turkey. And lastly, the best part in my opinion, let's go through the GameStop stuff. So first, the Destiny cards. Look at that. That's a whole block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, ten. That was my guess, but I wasn't sure. Ten de uh, decks. Yeah, I'm guessing they're just regular playing cards, maybe. Plus four more. You know what? It's kind of bothering me. Should we open one and just see? Sure. Destiny 2 Forsaken. Let's just open one up, see if they're like playing cards, or does Destiny actually have like a card game? I don't know. I never liked Destiny. It was never no fun to me. I don't like all the futuristic shooters. I like boots on the ground, FPS. That's how it's most meant to be played. None of this flying around, boosting stuff. It's just not me. But these are, let's see. Yeah, these are just regular playing cards. Look at that. Kaboom. Just regular Destiny playing card. That's pretty cool. Found a lot of cards lately, because last time we hit a GameStop, it was all the holiday ones, and now we got all of these. Weird, but all right. And also from GameStop, we got a bunch of these keychains. I think both packs are the same thing. Yeah, but it says a fig pin, Ivy Valentine from Soul Calibur. That is pretty cool. I honestly have not played a Soul Calibur game since I was like really, really young. It's been a long time, but I don't even remember the characters' names at all. So somebody let me know these are significant. But anyway, one, two, three, four, five, two packs of five, ten of these, and 14 packs of Destiny cards. 
seven pounds of turkey and I don't even know how many pounds of candy, just a lot. Okay. So what I want to do is cut this really quick, get everything organized and do a giant recap. So we'll be right back. All right guys, now let's do a giant recap. It just looks like so much more when you actually span it out like this. So let's start over here on the left. Seven pounds of brand new turkey that's literally good until March. We got 14 decks of cards from GameStop and I think it was 10 keychains total, all from Soul Calibur. And now let's just get into the ridiculous CVS one more time. You got all this stuff, one little pack of Snickers hiding down there. A whole bunch of Reese's here, a whole bunch of Reese's minis, like a ton of Reese's minis. They almost didn't fit in a row, but OCD, we had to get it in there. Then you have this whole thing of the Hershey Kisses with almonds in it. Then you have M&Ms for here, a couple bags of Hershey bars, a couple bags of the mixed ones. And you got all the caramel and nut Hershey bars, Jolly Ranchers, those M&Ms, peanut M&Ms, and Sour Patch Kids over there. So once again, like I said, Dumpster Diving has been dead for us for a long time, but over the last three times we went, it's been pretty good. I don't know if the freezing cold temperatures are keeping everyone away from them, but if that's so, let's keep it this cold, because really, I don't mind. As long as I don't get frostbite in two minutes, I don't mind. I'll go out every single night. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this one. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. If you do want to follow us on our social media links to be on screen, just click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace out.